guys let's get started with this setup tutorial first of all there are two kinds of 3ds simulators available for android the first one is the official citra emulator which is available on play store but i do not prefer this version as you cannot use any cheat codes it only supports till 60 fps so the minimum requirements to play 3ds games on android devices are as follows android 8.0 or above OpenGL ES version 3.2 You can check your device OpenGL ES version from the CPUZ app which is available on Play Store You will also need minimum 2GB of RAM that's all you need to emulate an 3DS game on your Android device And open the emulator and it will say this software will run games for Nintendo 3DS like If you want to play Pokemon uh, X 3DS game then you will have to have the Pokemon X 3DS ROM loaded onto your uh, device which I'll show you guys later on in today's video so you just have to go ahead and allow it the permission to the folder where you have stored your 3ds games so you just have to select the directory and here you can see that your 3ds game will be loaded now to avoid any copyright claim issues i won't be using a gameplay of any nintendo game like pokemon x or y or something like that i will be uh, showing you guys the gameplay of this 3ds car now let's begin the best settings so if we click on settings you will see a lot of options so first of all we'll go to general and here disable this enable speed limit option and set the emulated cpu clock speed to so be sure to set it to maximum so that you get highest amount of fps possible now limit speed percent just cancel it as we have disabled the enable speed limit option now once that has been done we'll go back now to the system part here uh, you just have to keep everything as it is don't do anything now we'll directly go to the graphics section now here you will have to enable use dual core also enable new 3ds mode internal resolution set it according to your device can go all the way up to 4x resolution which is actually very crisp resolution but if you guys have a mid-range device i suggest you guys keep it at 2x resolution if you have low-end device make it 1x resolution but i have a high-end device so we'll keep it at 4x resolution then click on ok now afterwards you will have to enable show fps option so you will understand the amount of fps that you are receiving while emulating any 3ds game enable texture load hack this will improve your fps but can give you some texture glitches so keep that in mind if you disable this option you'll get less fps uh, but better gameplay experience but if you enable it you might see some glitches i recommend you guys enable it if you have a low end device now disable the accurate shader multiplication option as this will consume lot of your uh, device resources but if you are getting like lot of texture glitches then enabling this option will remove all the graphical glitches and bugs which you are seeing while emulating an 3ds game but it will affect your performance harshly so i recommend disabling this option now if we scroll down then there is nothing else we'll just go back now let's go to audio section now disable this audio stretching option it will improve fps now audio input device if you have a really low end device then keep it at none which means that you won't be able to hear the audio of game but the game will uh, game performance or fps will be increased by a lot now once that has been done now we are all set guys to play 3ds games on our android devices but sadly in citra enhanced edition 2 you cannot add cheat codes at this moment uh, in the citra enhanced edition beta 3 so just keep that in mind if you want to uh, add some sort of cheat codes or use cheat codes while emulating 3ds games then you will have to go with the citra mmj android which is also really cool one of the best 3ds simulators hands down if not the best uh, i also have it installed right here as you can see uh, so this is the Citra MMJ Android. Let me just go ahead and turn on my laptop. Okay. So this is the Citra MMJ Android. This is the new interface. Here you just have to click on add folder to library. Select the 3ds games. Click on use this folder allow access and your 3ds game will be loaded. Now I'll show you guys the best settings of this Citra MMJ as well. So use dual core option. Show FPS option should be enabled. Internal resolution 1x. Enable hardware shader. Accurate multiplication must be off. Shader type keep it at normal shader with catch. Uh, you can also enable separate shader for more FPS. Now if you just go ahead and open post processing effect keep it at off as well. Speed limit percentage you have to keep it at 200%. Now afterwards you just have to scroll down enable the new 3ds mode. Now you can also choose themes but uh, you will have to load few themes. I'll make a dedicated video on Citra MMG themes in future so be sure to subscribe. Audio output you can select it to off or cube so I'll just go ahead and select this. Enable audio stretching, disable this option. Once that has been done, we are all set to playing 3ds games. So setting up Citra MMJ is also easy. So now let's start with uh, Citra Enhanced Edition. We'll see the amount of FPS that we are getting. So I'll just go ahead and click on don't allow and click on OK. 
So here we go guys, our emulator has successfully started and at the top left corner you can see that we are getting about 400 fps, it is capped to 400 fps uh, on my device at 4x resolution so it's really quick and now let's try opening uh, the Citra MMG Android and try running the same game. So if we open the game you'll see that our uh, FPS will be capped to 120 FPS. It is limiting our speed percentage to playable uh, gameplay experience which means that we are getting straight up 120 FPS stable without any issues. The game isn't going crazy which is a good part but uh, surely in Citra Enhanced Edition you are getting more FPS. It does not limit your FPS uh, till you reach 400 FPS. But anyways if you click back then you will see another settings menu in Citra MMJ. So if you click on settings you will see haptic feedback you can disable this option uh, afterwards you can click on show right joystick if you want to uh, you have to enable fmv hack skip slow draw skip cpu access resolution set it to 4x now it wasn't on 4x before when we were getting uh, 120 fps okay so layout select it as large accurate multiplication is disabled now let's see guys okay yeah we are receiving about 120 fps cap uh, in citra mmg android and in citra mmg android you can also add cheat codes so if i just go ahead and click on exit game and if i hold the game then here you can see that we can add cheat codes in citra mmg android so to add cheat codes you basically have to find the game cheat code for example if you want pokemon x cheat codes then you will have to go to google and search for pokemon x citra cheat codes and scroll down and get the list of cheat codes for pokemon x and pokemon y for example once you get the cheat code which you want to apply just go ahead and hold it copy the entire cheat code uh, by clicking on copy and go back to citra emulator then you just have to go ahead and paste the cheat code as plain text once you paste the cheat code just go ahead and click on the first line and click on enter now we'll just have to go ahead and type star citra enabled once you type this you are all set you can click on save and your cheat code will be activated as you can see right here Whereas in Citra Enhanced Edition, you cannot add cheat codes. So let me know in the comment section down below which Citra would you prefer. So this is the way how you can play 3DS games on your Android devices without any issues whatsoever. Uh, and these two emulators are completely stable and optimized. You don't, ha uh, you don't have to worry about bugs or glitches whatsoever until and unless you meet the minimum requirements of the emulator. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Make sure like and subscribe. Share in for more videos like best settings, configuration, etc. That's it for today's video, goodbye.